This is the housing for a microtube cooler. So in, uh, it's inside you have a traditionally manufactured microtube cooler, which is one of the highest performing uh, cooling options we have. Um, it's hard to compete with that in terms of performance for an additive heat exchanger itself, but one of the applications we find is supporting traditional manufacturing with additive manufacturing. So this is a um, quite a complicated piece, as you can see. It's been post-processed, it's been uh, chemically etched to um, improve the surface quality. It's also been polished, that's why it's nice and shiny. And then you can see that it's got machined sections uh, so it's an example of combining additive manufacturing with other manufacturing processes, which is where we find um, the greatest use for additive, and particularly the um, parts consolidation, that if you tried to make this by traditional manufacturing, you'd have to make all these tubes and the housing itself as individual components and then assemble them, whereas using additive manufacturing, we can get these very complex geometries um, all as one part that's not only um, simplifies the manufacturing process, but also create just a more robust, higher performing product. And it, what metal is, are, are those two components? Sorry? Uh, what al which alloy? Oh, what yes, this is, this is CP1. So um, you can, yeah, the entire, it's got some plastic components as part of the assembly, but um, yeah, it is all CP1. And you can tell it's um, a very kind of silvery, shiny alloy compared to, for example, F357, which is a kind of um, darker gray.